a proper road race, and in the true meaning of the word. That's how Mr. Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but we still race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean. There is no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. The astonishing Circuit de Monaco is, for all intents and purposes, virtually unchanged since its inaugural race back in 1929. The faster cars of today ensure the 19 corners past the casino and along the seafront remain as thrilling as ever. A 2.1 mile lap here takes us around an entire country, yet never more than a few inches away from the race ending barriers. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. What a great lap from Alexander Alban yesterday. He'll start from pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Joe, Perez, Oscar Piastri, Magnussen, Bottas, Russell, Norris, The Scientist, Verstappen, Leclerc, Gasly, Theo Porcher, Ocon, Sargent, Stroll, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Dewan, and Nick De Vries rounds off the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Here we go then, the formation lap is underway and the track temperature looks warm that may or may not play into some of the team's hands for today's race. Okay, now stay alert for threats around you. Teammate behind is 3.2 seconds. Find that front wing is going to need replacing if it takes too much damage. No need to worry about the tyre condition for now, everything's looking good. Gap to the car ahead, 4.9 seconds.
Okay, go, go, go. That was a fantastic stop, faster than we were expecting. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Nice move. Coming in for a stop. to P7 with that. behind is 2.8 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are 17 laps old. The car behind has minor front wing damage. Front wing damage. And the time last lap was a 116.8. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining.
All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. They've done it then. They've won here in Monaco with an emphatic performance and a victory they can be proud of for years to come. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit, familiar to fans across the globe, a world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again. his lead at the top, getting ever closer to securing the championship. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Carlos Sainz certainly wasn't someone to scoff about. His ability to follow race strategies throughout with pinpoint precision has to be commended. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari continued to extend the gap at the top of the table. Meanwhile, good work from the owner-drivers team this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. Been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. Can't wait to see what's next.